Hello everyone, I am Erangal Yenige from WSO2 Stream Processor team. I am going to give you an introduction to the business rules manager of WSO2 Stream Processor. In this screencast, I will give you an overview to the business rules manager and demonstrate how we can create business rules templates and business rules. The business rules manager allows you to define business rules templates for scenarios with common requirements. It gives the business and non-technical users the flexibility of customizing and reusing applications with a rich form-based UI while eliminating the need to edit CD code. These business rule templates can be generated using the business rules template editor. Business rules can be derived from predefined templates or from scratch. Let's see how a developer generates a business rule template for an existing Siddhi application. Those who want an overview of creating a Siddhi application, please view the screencast on introduction to WSO2 Stream Processor Studio. This Siddhi application will send an email notification to John who is a manager at Unicorn Bank, when a withdrawal of more than $1,000 take place at the city branch ATM. What if John wants to do the same for another branch or change the threshold values later? For such scenarios, the developer can template this application so that users like John can create business rules for their requirements without the help of the developers. Let's open the business rule template editor to create the template. Add UUID, name and description for the template group. Now you can add the rule templates. First, add UUID, name and description for the rule template. I'll select the type as template. Input and output types are selected when you are creating from scratch templates. If you want to restrict the business rules derived from the template, to one instance, set the instance count to one. If you select many, multiple instances can be added. For the template, copy paste the CD app and change the templatable attributes to the required format. I'll add template attributes to receiver email, branch, transaction type, and the amount. If you need to validate or process the user input, you can add your own JavaScript to the script section. I will add a script to validate the minimum amount to be greater than 50. Then click on the generate button to generate the properties. Fill in the properties for each templated attributes. Now the business rule template is complete. Save a copy in the WSO2 dashboard resources business rules template directory. Next, add the rule template UUID to the dashboard deployment ML file. Let's see how a business user can apply a business template. To create a business rule from template, you need to run the worker and dashboard. Next, log in to the business rules manager. The default username and password are admin. Now, let's create a new business rule. Select the from template option. There are few readily available templates and this is the one we just created. Since we validate the input for amount, you won't be able to set it to less than 50. Clicking on the save and deploy will apply the information to the CD app and deploy the business rule on the worker. All the business rules are listed here. You can check the deployment information, view and edit rules or delete them. If you edit a rule, you need to redeploy it. Now, 
we'll create a business rule from scratch. The from scratch option allows you to define your own filter logic. Input and output configurations are loaded from a template. Exposed stream fields are shown here. You can create your logic here. Say you want to filter events where the price is less than 100. Once you have defined two or more filters, enter the rule logic in the rule logic field using O and and not conditions. Click on save and deploy to deploy the application on the worker. Now I have successfully deployed the application on the worker. Let's check the deployed applications on the worker. All the templated attributes are replaced with the values that we provided. That's all I've got for today. To give you a quick recap, this screencast demonstrated how to generate a business rule template and create business rules from those templates. For more information, you can refer the WSO2 stream processor documentation. Thank you.